Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the ctfmon.exe is missing and the Windows search bar and calculator are not working properly on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up File Explorer. So if you have the taskbar icon, you're just going to go ahead and open that up or you can search for it in the search menu. And then you want to select this PC on the left panel here. Double click on your drive where Windows is installed. It should be a little Windows icon above the hard drive. So go ahead and double click on that. Double click on the Windows folder. And then you want to go down to System32 and double click on it. Now that we're in here, you want to locate the CTFmon folder. It should be close to the bottom. You can also just click on a random file in here and just start typing it in. So again, ctfmon. You see there's an application. It's about 28 kilobytes at the time of this recording. It's probably going to be similar in your case as well. You want to right-click on it and select where it says Show More Options. Select where it says Send To. And then select where it says Desktop Create Shortcut. And now if we minimize or close out System 32, you should see a shortcut now appear on the desktop. Now you want to tap the Windows and the R key on your keyboard at the same time. And you want to type in shell, capital S, and then H-E-L-L, -L, and then a colon, and then type in common startup. Common startup should be two separate words here, and there shouldn't be any space between the shell, the colon, and the C in common, but there is a space between the common and the startup. And then you want to select OK. Now that we're in here, drag and drop the shortcut that we've created on our desktop into here. If you receive a destination folder access is denied, select continue and give that a moment. Once it appears in here, you can close out of that folder and then you want to restart the computer. And now that we're back into Windows, you want to open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back with registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to do that, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. And then scroll down to Windows. And you want to double click on that. Should be a current version folder. Double click on that. And then finally there should be a run folder on the left side. Just scroll down. Then select run. Now on the right panel you want to right click in a blank area. Select new. And then you want to select string value. You want to name this value ctfmon. And then you want to hit enter. Double click on this value. And I'm going to have a value in the description of the video, guys. I'm going to paste it in right here. Just right click and then paste it in or do control V. So in your case, you may have to change the drive letter from C to whatever drive letter Windows is installed on on your computer. So that's the only difference you might have to make in your case. Most of you guys, it's probably going to be the C drive. And then you're going to select OK. And then once that is done, you will have to close out of the registry editor. And you will have to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So let's just go ahead and restart our computer now.
So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.